Mid here. Let's get into it. On the attacking side, it will be Gambit to try and set the pace here in what could be the final map of the grand final. Unless there is life in the defensive side of Ascend, and already the pressure is great. Gambit going to begin things well with a pick, but a quick trade-out keeps things at least within check. But the spike is down, and the time's on their side. Yes, now, actually going to get spotted out. He will deal with Red Redgar. Lots of focus coming back through B main here, but Gambit playing very deep. On the backside of sight here. Oh, and the overwhelmed Shados goes down. Defo and Nats, if you've got anything left to defend that spike, ticking away time by time. Cena gonna try and close in towards Kitchen halfway now. Achieved, there's not much to stop it. Gillis takes down Nats, it's all on Defo, and he's not in the right place, nor on map choice. And Gambit just wait patiently to see what the next steps are. Cut and paste almost here on round two for Gambit. Straight away onto B. Send able to Spike again, planted. nullify some of this pressure early on, but Chronicle finds seen it. But I love the fact that bringing these pistols to areas where they can still work, you know, a frenzy or two, a classic here and there, is just fine in middle. Now it does get overwhelmed, but you can see the potential for a luck. Now the Spike gonna probably gets halfway, maybe not. Shadow's good for one. Still a 3v2, and that might be the end of it. No more threats. Yes, Nats can try and buy some time. But you can see instantly Zeke is on the case. Ascend going to make it to two now. There we go. Make it to two now. Yeah. <laughs> Got a little nervous then. Hold up for the fist bumps until you've defused. And we should for Gambit as well. They do look like they want to challenge that B-Long control. So you're not wrong in this. Zeke though is going to go for the walk up, which could be dangerous. There's two, three players here. And he gets the tag on the first, but not the frag. That now opens up the map. They have to respect this and hit that rotation. But as said, they're still holding this default. And actually, on the it was interesting there because Cine was always looking for contact for Kiles to pop that Viper's pit, but Kiles will pop it to allow this rotation to come through. Trying to force Gambit's hand. I mean, it's popped and he's he's going to abandon it as well. Gives them an extra body on the site at the bare minimum. Spikes on route, working up B long. Three players on site. But the chip damage doesn't quite connect. Shadow's still fine to move forward. Wall goes in. Starzo goes up and over. Still going to be good for one, but the rifle gets dropped. And that's now Chronicle coming online. Bonecord still at least keeping himself in the battle. A 3v2 isn't so simple, but Nats. Oh, this is huge. That's huge info. Nats is threading the needle. Yes, he gets noted, but still he does the damage. Facilitates the cross towards the site if they fancy it, but maybe still want to be diligent. Find Bonecold first. Bonecold can re remove another weapon. That's huge for Ascend. Moves it to a 1v2. Nats is 45 HP. Left. So definitely doable here. He's already thinking about Just it. Just planting the seed. Look at the buy. Yeah, it's... A whole lot of nothing. I mean, Zeke on the back of his ultimate does have oh. a rifle, but Nats just walked up. Won't timing, go Gillis! Gillis! Oh, the timing could have been everything. He only gets one, though. Trades out. Still going to tee up someone like CNED. Gets the red guard down. Shados kicks into action. Gets the punish on Starzo and fades away. A 2v2, but rifles get taken ahead. away. They get to pull them over to their side, but no armor with Ascend. And Gambit still sitting pretty with theirs. Sight take comes in. Shados quick to this. Tries to clear, but now makes sure he sits with that spike. Crossing on over. Trying to keep this safe. Zeke going to pop the ult as well. Cena! Next round going to be very yeah, difficult if Gambit can get everything online here. Defo Atsi popping the blade storm right away here. Maybe a peak to middle and a peak to long. Seen it so aware. We need him. If you're an Ascend fan, you need him to find some of this, but already you can see Shadow what? tries to just body block him. Seen it still stands. And that's the last one here, already being closed in on two players down middle. This feels a never heavily contested. <laughs> this is one to stop any momentum on the side of Send if Gambit can close this out. Defo now on the operator. They're going to invest around this res. Might take a favorable duel on the way into site here. No secrets though. No, on the no way in at least. And maybe they don't have to be subtle about it. Shados quick to take down Zeke. Does his opposing number. The site takes still trying to power forward. It's hit the brakes a little, which has allowed Ascend to slip in towards the site. Killers is right there amongst them all. This player is just around that corner. 
spraying in wildly because it's no connection. It's Defo to find Bone Cold, and now the back lines get some attention from Killers. But CNED pins down Defo, and the 4v3 carries on. But Cena tries to get involved in this. The spike yet to go down. Starzo, he's going for the drop, and he gets sent packing Redgar. Digs in his heels, finds two critical kills, and now Cena called upon. The man's needed here for ascend, and he's here. Bone Cold actually rolling the sheriff into this. They want to. It's seen it online with that operator. Wait, where did Zeke just get that from? Straight through the smoke, maybe. Nats is trying to creep it. And as it fades, he walks it. Zeke's so hyper aware now. Right here. Keeping control of middle might be critical to this as now the sight hit comes in. Bone Cold now knows that he doesn't have to worry about his back. But it's the front that's the problem as Shados is still the powerhouse. Playing on through, creating space and opening up a, a little bit of room for a, a, a plant to come in. Defo now watching in case someone gets a little aggressive ahead on that short playback. Oh, gets popped. And now suddenly, this is looking dicey. Chronicle! How has he found no three? Way! Chronicle turns this round on its head and CNED. The last line of defense for Ascend in this. As Defo and Shados to get past. He tries to lean four. Score could be closed up at four apiece. Let's find out now. God, and everything's so tailor-made for the punish there. Zeke with a belt up. Big impact, but... We know that they don't necessarily respect that. They might just continue forward. See here if Gambit want to force the issue. So it's looking as if that's the case. And the sender almost give up full side control for the time being at least. Monko will get confirmation of Redgar's location. Actually, both walls invested, so a little bit of a stalemate here ahead of the plant. There's four players behind this site. cena has got the ult out as well. Shados. Isn't going to get much done this time. Cena's it's there towards Nats. It's on Redgar, it's on Chronicle. And Chronicle, this would be a time to really do a bit of a mental damage towards the opponents. But again, there's still so many bodies, but they are on Sheriffs. A couple of upgrades here and there, but he's found maybe the chance on one. Oh. Absolutely. Redgar's almost better off these rifles sometimes with a Guardian or a Judge in his hands. Defo will be noted. We'll draw out the wall investment here from Starzo, actually. That's a lockout tube. Enemy marked. Seen it now. And actually, we'll get tagged immediately with the Aldo and force him off this angle. <laughs> actually, Chronicle looks to try and close this out. We'll burn the dash away at least. No tags there with a the Hunter's Fury. Composure maintaining for Seen though, is critical. Let's see how he fares now, op in hand. Going to retake a little bit of that space, but he's left not necessarily on his own. He does have Zeke behind him. Just holding for this cross. Gambit have shown not much towards that A site. And now the utility gets invested. A jump peak for Shados, and they start to slow walk up towards the site. Ult comes out, and CNED looking for a pixel over that wall. Nothing really presented. Zeke on the back line's in a miss. And a bad one at that. Starzo by his side, though, going to make up for the problems. Nat exceeds expectations. Rez comes out. CNED back on his feet. And Starzo with a mad step towards Shados. It's put so much pressure back, and Starzo's having a round. Three already. He's making it four. He wants to do it all himself, and he might be able to do it. It's seen had to close down the account, but what an answer back from Starzo. Beautiful, and talking about building around scene, Ed, Starzo stacks up him with him. Then here, SMGs, Sheriffs, enough for them to really build off. No Bladestorm available either for Defo. Seen it's here with the Operator. There's a lot of people who could overwhelm him right now. Let's see if he can play this right here. What? Yeah. Real Fight quick, down. that's okay. not bad for scene, Ed. Bone Cold next in line, trying to hold this push up, do some chip damage. Shados down a little low. Defo not looking so pretty either. The walking wounded now. Do take towards the site. Cnet still keeps calm, keeps cool. <laughs> Goes for a mad shot. Not going to find it, but it is now a 1v3. And now been stumped a little here. Now, it's not enough for me to be too worried because it's always Gambit, but it's enough to keep my attention drawn. And aggression down middle. Zeke, I'm going to try and work down Tube. Looking for a little bit of a pace change here on the side of Ascent. It'll be just that. We went on the other side of it, but Zeke now will be able to tuck himself in. On the back of that contact, Keeler's actually invests his Viper's Pit to close off most of B side, at least default, on the front side of Yellow. Gambit, a pause for thought. See, Cena now has adjusted all the way to the back side of eight. 
this mid lean up and Sina's presence on A allows at least three players for Ascend to be comfortable enough towards that B site, especially with that ult as well. Gambit is still exploring this though. Four players here. Last time Starzo was a huge win condition in this round's conversion when we saw this similar piece last time. Defo wants to clear over by yellow, which he should be able to do. And Killers dips his toes in. Now going to invest a little more utility. It's not full commitment just yet. That's a lot of information left. relayed, though. I think three members of Gambit were down to one HP there, so that's snake bite. Unfortunate to find anything behind the wall, but it already created a hole. This makes it so awkward to plant now. 18 seconds left. You're seeing Chronicle still deliver towards Bone Cold. That's not good from Starzo. Outdone time now. 12 seconds. Zeke beats Nats, but it's a 4v3. Spike goes in, and the walk you can see it to the left side. Red Girl gets caught. I thought he was dead to right, but Zeke's still there to keep this in hand. Chronicle, Defo, and Shados, what have you got for us? Chronicle just going to try and live this out. What? Takes down Zeke. Domination has seen it now drops in. The big reveal in a second's time, tries to spam on through, doesn't get what he wants. Killers is right there as well. A tap on the spine. Draws the fire, what? Seen it! Beheads him, dashes away, tries to absolutely play his life, but time! Hypok, they're running out of time here. It's an open plant as well, so Chronicle can punish this if they go for it. Seen it's actually sticking through. He's gonna get the half. He's got it to half. As well. It's almost like a, a send of, they're double guessing themselves there. Speaking of double, double up coming out. We've got Zeke on one, seen it on the other. This is very different. Let's see if Zeke can cut a different figure to this round. Even likes of Starzo towards the back of the site, and they've responded almost instantly towards this quick flank coming out from Bone Cold as well. Gambit, though, are good at this sort of work. We saw Chronicle delivering three in this spike plant goes in. Nothing to stop it yet. Seen it looking for that chance. Needs it, gets it. Nat still finds Bone Cold, though. So the flank's not coming in. There's no help on the way now. It's a three that stand for Ascend, and Gambit clawing this back round by round. Every single trade is still favorable until then. Zeke will get it back on even footing. Oh, and Zeke! How's he doing it? A 1v1, though. Up against the god himself of Nats. How do you get around this, Zeke? What's the plan in mind? Is this what you've got for us? Trying to do what he wants, but the time is going to be just trickled away. HP burning down, ripped away from him. He's down to absolutely nothing, and the close comes in. Nats truly get the best of five. Battled throw down, or does Gambit close now? We find out as we start off with Defo with the first peak, but not the first pick. Out of charge. Okay, well, to escape with the orb there as well. Defo countering that pressure. We'll find Bone Cold. Send. Ooh. Want to try and force this though. Shadus will find a second. And they're still just fine. They all got kind of bundled up together, but they come out of it scot free, and the fight continues. But it's so favorable to Shadus, who's just been a butcher. Dicing up a send, leaving just seen it alive. A 1v4, and it ain't. Look. Mix here. See, now actually, we'll try and. Find something actually on the back of the light armor, which is interesting to see, but Defo opens things up. Bone Cold falls off the rip. See, <laughs> will uh, find himself a sheriff somehow. Chronicle going to be watching this cross. Eyes peeled. Just backing away. Redgar as well. They're going to hear this as soon as Redgar gets towards Boiler. Space is taken. Can they get a punch? They're gonna backstab. Yeah, they really could. I want to see if they can do this cleanly, though. <laughs> the timing's actually heartbreaking for them, and it gets just sent away. There's so much opportunity there. And you're right, the timing window just got shut on them. The read from Gambit, just that the intuition man. to go, oh, it feels a bit weird that no one's. Surely, as we're on the bonus now for Gambit. They can do a lot of damage, though. That is so dangerous, and the confidence is brimming. Look at them again. Still happy to take this fight, this scrap. They don't back away instantly. Oh, the Chronicle tries to slip by the forward. He's, He's happy to work like this, but Chronicle does go down to Bone Cold. Good check from Bone Cold. Do not get too ahead of himself. I'll just try and chase down Defo. Hunt it down too far. He maintains. A little bit of damage done on the way in, though. Senior down to 54 HP. Zeke as well on 24. So both duelists. Kept honest here. Actually, that's with the heal as well. You see Starzo's heal is actually on cooldown right now. So expect ex expect Ascend to try and slow down, wait for that to come back online. So just poised right now. Can't be actually giving this up. Anticipating the rotation coming through. 
Yeah, that gives them an opportunity now to re-explore towards A site. So you back up to 84 HP now. Meticulous progress though from Ascend. Very cautious, very quiet. 30 seconds left. You can see the respect the Gambit command in these sort of games. You have to be so careful to not fall to any of the Spike planted. tricks that they have up the sleeve. And the rest of the player is going to make their way over now. Shados does have the rifle. See what they have in mind. Shados will lead the charge here. Oof. Utilities to deal with on the way through, but we'll deal with this wall first of all. Shados will chip away, we'll find a hole. Actually, a couple of members of Ascend will retreat. Bone Cold is going to be overwhelmed. Shados has done the first bit of damage here for the time. It's going to be of the essence. CNET finds Nats. They're falling. CNET's found Redgar. It's going to be on what? On the top of pipes. Let's see what Ascend can done here. Yeah, it's lined up on that. <laughs> this is getting kind of dicey out here, Redgar. They're trying to deny the orb. Yeah, I think they're going to fall away. They are overwhelmed in the end, and Cena gets to pop the ult. Looking to maybe catch out Redgar here, but easier said than done. The man's been a monster to deal with. Not a huge amount of kills, but always so integral. Yeah. As it stands, they peel away for now. No audio cue on the back of this as well. Ascend have already lent pretty heavily towards eight. It's just Shados there. Let's have some utility to work around. Let's walk all that up and slow things down a little bit. Ascend have to be diligent on the way in here. See, with no presence, Gambit already creeping back towards a site. Yeah. I'm going to see if maybe Zeke tries to keep them attentive towards that A site, but now it's it's noted, it's been heard, it's been seen. And as a shade off, back of the site with Nats up towards the rafters. It's Starzo on the first chopping block, and they've gone down. Gambit holding three. And now Nats just comes alive when need. As well, the adjustment to, to try and deny that orb on B. Defo actually might even find here at the start. Ooh, oh. Just missing on the second. How are they alive? Defo, we've got to be careful. Maybe not. He's just fine keeping his composure and it's cool. They line up. How oh, can they make it look so simple? Stars are still step piece, but we're already lined up with a slow orb. It's going to be difficult to cross. It's been four to one in this half already. Gambit have looked so ready for everything that the center have been trying to do. Redgar not being quiet about this. Going to eventually peel away. I wonder if he gets caught here from the top of tube. You can see that's Cned's intention, but Redgar very aware of what that may be. Nats on the other side. Three players trying to face down Cned right now, and there's no easy support. If Zeke overcommits, Nats gets the punish. This is difficult, and yeah, that's Nats. Oh, it's Nats all day! Two quick kills, and Ascend are now starting to struggle. We need a moment back from them, and it's not going to come in in the form of Cned right now. Down to Bone Cold and Killers. And that spike is left deep in the clutches of Gambit. Killers tries to work his way forward. Redgar already aware, already <laughs> thinking about it. Double digits is back. A couple of ultimates close here. Again, Gambit try and deny one of them. Take away the possibility of them using an ultimate in a round like this. Chronicle actually will get his Hunter's Fury Take on the back of that. Defo looking for something. Stars are on the other side of this. See, that actually closes the distance. Not bad, but Defo very quick. Force down to 18 HP though, gonna be able to fall away. Chronicle gonna sit safe towards the back of the site and now you can see the response. As said, it's never just one, there's three players now waiting in the back. Zeke gets himself you will right, pulled up. Light armor, Rez comes in. Ascender giving it everything they can for this one. Stars over. Wait, there's still life in them yet. They're refusing to go down. Stars are doing everything but look alive. That's the man who dominated them on Fracture, who's been in their head since the start. And they run. They try and get that spike. Pathway. They have to find something here. If Keyless gets the plan, does actually have the, the Viper's Pit available? Looks like Bone Cold going to be the one. It's really difficult for Nats. He's got to find an early kill here. If there was any, I'd be with you. But it's Nats, and it always seems possible with this man. He finds any mistakes. He punishes. He sees. 
tries to get it clean. He does, and now it's down to one. Bone Cold will be sweating bullets. Ascend desperately need this round, but it's the man, the big man against him. And what do you change up? Yep. What can you achieve there with that purchase? So massive for them to get their heads back in this game. One more to find to tie things up. Shados waiting in the corner. Zeke gonna lean forward there. It's gonna be the ult being popped. Chronicles in a bit of trouble here. Cena's already found Shados. That could be the site open. Look at the over aggress. I love that from Zeke. Get in their face. Cena, the second line. And Gambit now feel the full force of Ascend, leaving Nats and Defo not really in a position to say much about this. Defo has the operator. That has to be a consideration here. Don't want to throw that one away. Even though Gambit have a massive financial advantage. Not even giving away the weapons in a round like this. There. Also, not cycling this over to CNED. That's worth considering in the equation. Ascend got to be careful. Yes, they won the thrifty, but they definitely want to carry across five rifles, lighten the load a little bit in the next round. Ascend will tie things up. And now, actually, look at it. Yes, the res is available. Hunter's Fury as well, but that previous ultimate advantage. Maybe actually Defo going for a quick peek towards lower here. They've got the res. Maybe feeling confident about it. Beautiful. And why not just be Beautiful. confident about your own ability? Defo outdoes Cened. And that's that first blood that's been missing from them a couple of these rounds. No res available as well, so Sen have to play this as four. The wall again invested towards mid, so we'll give Redgar some information to act upon. Nats, I see holding pretty close contact here at the end of B main. We have to slow things down with his snake bite. We'll find a head on the other side of that peak. No rotation just yet. You can see Redgar mm -hmm. considering it. But it might even be Gambit. Give this up. Yeah, all goes up. Can't quite go for the snake bite. Just comes ahead of it as well. Yeah, he, he has to respect that now. Nats is buying time, which is fantastic for the rotations because they didn't necessarily bite early. Nats is really trying to do the damage, and this is the backline defense the Gambit can depend upon for now. Time. They didn't leave it too late though. It's still 34 seconds, but Zeke. Tricky scenario. You know that players are close by. Just going to use the lid to try and buy a little bit of safety. Red Gar still finds Starzo. That's now the spike left. Lose. Nats gets involved. No way, he pushes Nats. ahead. The man is so brave to do this. The Bone Cold quells it, but look what's left. It's down to just one. Bone Cold in a 1v3. 13 seconds. And I think Gambit might have just done. Right. And this could be one of the most integral rounds coming forward. Rifles out still for Ascend. Purchase still. Pretty enough, but 11 on the board for Gambit and 12 gets them almost not just map point, but match point and championship point. For now, Defo waits, aggressively postured forward, looking for that first player to swing the corner. The Aldrone put in just to deal with this potential, but he's still going to find it. Falls away in time. Chronicle now steps into place. The next layer to the piece from Gambit, always prepared for what's about to come. And that is perfection from Defo, just waiting a second, anticipating the peak behind the Aldrone. And he's rewarded for it. Again, no res, not even close for Starzo. Have to play this out as four. Gambit can sit back now with a man advantage. There's a man to do it. It might just be seen it though, and they need him right now. He's been having hot and cold games. This would be the round that you depend on your heavy hitters, your superstars. But he can't find the way forward. Starzo going to try and just defend that spike going down. Bone Cold puts his life in his hands. Starzo looks towards Rafter, doesn't see it, and Cena takes a look, takes a glimpse, and takes a scalp. Shados goes, red guard down, Cena, you say you need him, there he is, but it's not without reply. Bonecord and Starzo put into a 2v2, you've got Nats and Chronicle, the dastardly duo that we saw from the first time. Now Starzo takes down half of it, it's all on Chronicle. A 1v2 to get to 12, or it's 11-11, and we go all even again. Chronicle tries to get further forward around the world, we go, they're playing, just playing. 2,000 credits behind this purchase for Gambit. 
Ultimate's available. And Shados is screaming these comms. You can see it in the camp. Yeah, Cena yeah. just closing that gap quick. It's on Shados to do any sort of damage he can. They cross each other. The net is Shados to win. Zeke goes down, falls away safely. Chronicle by his side. The rest of the team's on the way. But Shados wants to get to 12 on his own back. Bonecord stops the tear before it really comes through. But the spike goes down. Post plant. Three of them standing. Rez comes in and could be four back up. There's the Rez. It's going to be Redgar getting Shados. There's Zeke back on his feet. It's a 4v5 now. Defo still stands, finding Killers. And look at the position he's coming out. No Defo! Way. How's he got Starzo? And now it's all down to Zeke. The one man against the army of Gambit. And it's 12 on the board for Gambit now. Get out of my way. Spectre in the hands of Killers. Empress Blade Storm available for Ascend. Defo now creeping. mid. Cena's got his ult though. Oh, he's, he's got a tag. a tag! It's not a frag though, Cena still stands. <sighs> he walks away alive for now. That's oh, huge though. You, you want here. Cena to be the one to find the opener here. Down to 90 HP, no armor. And Gambit set up to greet this hit. Defo's re-aggressing. He's going for a second look. Another bite of the cherry. You've got the first tag on Cena. Does he now get the better of him? Forced to fight and he succeeds. Cena down. Blades come out. Killers is going to find him, so it's not going to be easy just yet. It's not smooth sailing across the board. Starzo holds his own. Takes down Nats. They have to respect this for merely a second. Shados, Redgar, Chronicle. What's the plan? Damn it. 3v4 on the retake. Yeah, they send one. They want to scrap for this. They want to fight. See here now. Zeke has to go huge. The wall goes up, but straight Zeke. away ripped away. The time. This is it. Time to strike for Zeke. Stop. Now, they want this done. They want it dusted. Defo. I have to face off against Cena if he crests that corner. Both invest in the op as well. Glass cannons. Gambit yeah, slow in approach. Cautious. Well, the possibility again, you have to anticipate this here. The Aldrone will actually spot out the operator and Cinez's location. Has to fall away from this. Looking now for Kiles to pick up the slack on the backside of yellow. Cena actually looking for a, mm. an angle through mid here. Wait, Starzo, Starzo? Over. Are you what kidding is that? me? What a time to come alive! Starzo takes down Shados, takes down Redgar. And now Nats has to respond. They have to now deal with this problem. Gambit have suddenly lost a little bit of that brilliance of that default that's kept them so safe for so long. But it's not over yet. Nats, Defo, down. Chronicle, some heavy hitters still stand for the Gambit side. Defo not quite finding any way in just yet, and they're sitting just deeper than those first angles they're gonna have to clear. They'll let them take up to yellow, they'll let them maybe even toy with a spike plant. They have the numbers here, but Gambit, they don't really play to percentages. 30 seconds left. They go above and beyond. So, so often, they see Killers nothing. Just tucked behind the box yep. there as well. Bone Cold ready to spam through. Again, no wall, so can spam on the default from here. If they get a pick on this, no. Denied by Cened. Chronicle, though, that's two. What? Timing, though, they're down to 10 seconds standing. here. They're not going to have the ten timing on this left. at all. Spike in hand. And now swings back into Gambit's consideration. Do we go again? Is it all going to that next map? We find out now. Heavy lean towards the A site. Shados, first time he's actually played this position, I'm pretty sure, so mixing things up a little bit. Does have Chronicle by his side. Send now. Cautious once again on their approach towards A side. They have been shut down a number of times here. But it's looking pretty invested behind the Aldrone. They will find it on the back of this. Chronicle has to deal with that to make sure Shados can play off this position. He's been unnoted. Now he is noted. Now they know the position. Do they swing on the Leer? It don't need to. Zeke's in their face already. Takes down Shados. Ascend, I don't think know when they're done. They've got to force Gambit away into more of a post plant position, but that spike needs to go down. The snake bite and the shock dart just a little off there. Oof. That one, eh? But where do they find this entry on the way back in? Gambit presented a conundrum. A puzzle to somehow undo. Defo going to be trying to get up towards those rafters. See if he can get that pick. Zeke happy to the first contact. The wall goes up and away we go. Bone Cord says no. Starzo as well. It's down to Redgar and Chronicle. The two oh, stand. Standing. Make it one. Redgar, is there anything left in the tank? Or have Ascend done enough to take us all the way here? Redgar going to get towards the side. Tap the spike. 
No way. No way. No way. Someone, someone stop him. It's gonna be Zeke. 